Hi, welcome to Mess to Masterpiece. My name is Alicia and I'm excited to get to know you. Okay, so you're probably wondering where in the world did I get this title, Mess to Masterpiece? Well, several years back, the Lord started speaking to me about the messes in my own life. And as he was doing so, he gave me two images that I'm going to share with you tonight. And we're going to make sure that we're going to go touch back on them. The first is this clay. Does that look like much of anything? I don't think so. I don't really see any kind of shape or anything. But we all know that with a little bit of effort and some artistic talent, which I definitely don't have, you can turn this into something really cool. Whether it is a pot or a sculpture, there's all kinds of things that you can do with the clay. But we sure don't see that to begin with, right? Or what about a puzzle piece? Do we know what the puzzle is at the end? Or even what this piece is gonna be? What about this one? Well, after some time and taking to look at the, the big picture, the big puzzle, we can find out that this is actually a guitar. If you can see the yellow. And this one is going to be a tomato. Pretty crazy, right? Because we don't see that right now. A mess. Isn't that how sometimes our lives seem to be? I know for me, growing up in Kentucky, I did definitely have my childhood messes, physically and emotionally and mentally as well. Although I went off to college for a teaching major, like a normal college kid, taught three years middle school and lived with high school girls. So I love them dearly, but yes, we had lots of messes. But then, all of a sudden, at 25, my life took a turn for the to the, for the worse and, and a, me a bigger mess in my in my eyes for sure and I found myself um, starting to have allergic reactions out of control as well as requiring lots of medications as I continued to spiral downhill I found myself on a feeding tube never imaginable for somebody at 24 or 25 years old um, needing formula like a baby then I had to get put on something called TPN through my veins um, which I'll explain hopefully in another video, um, but not able to eat anything by mouth or even drink. Then this spring, my, my world took an even more twist, more of a twist, and I had a spinal stroke, not just one, but two, at the age of 25, leaving me with, bound to a, a wheelchair, if you can see my power chair, and not able to move anything but my right arm and my right eye. So... What about that mess? What, what am I even supposed to do about that? I'm not going to sit here by any means and tell you that I've got it all together, that all my messes are put together, or that I've not had moments and days and weeks of months of questions wondering why and why me? Why, why now? Why this? Um, many nights of tears and days of tears and wondering what my purpose is now if I'm not even able to walk or eat or even feel most of my body. But yet through it all, the Lord has continued to remind me of three truths, and I wanna share with those with you tonight, and just to know, give you hope, and that you're not alone. This is just the beginning of our time together, and so I'm looking forward to in the days ahead, as well as connecting with you. But let's, first off, the first truth is that God is good. There's so much evil that, is, that has happened and is happening and will happen in our world that's part of sin unfortunately and it and right now with covid and the the battle with equality um and treating all god's children equally no matter race or color or gender um is a big deal right now and i don't want to make light of that at all but god is still good and god is still amidst all of our painful circumstances um and that leads me to my second point. He he never leaves us. He never forsakes us. Um, he he wipes our tears. Um, he sends people that care. And so, sometimes when he obviously God God is a hard concept sometimes to wrap our mind around because he's not a person. But definitely he can use people and at the right time. I know I have countless stories of that, and you might too. But he never leaves us. He never forsakes us. Whether we're laying in the hospital room, not even able to figure out where we're at, whether we're at home, whether we're playing basketball, whether you're at school, your work, um, in church, 
and anywhere and everywhere in between god god is still with you and i just want to leave you with that encouragement um but the last one and that leads me to why i'm sharing and why i've decided that this this call the lord has put on my heart to start speaking up is that he's not done yet and friends he's not done with you either no matter what situation that you may have gone through or that you are going through or that even you will go through in the days ahead he's not done with you yet there is a reason that you are here. There's a reason that I've had so many coding episodes and near-death experiences, yet I'm still here. And even in the frail condition that I am, there's a purpose that God has for me. And so it's my prayer, as I continue to walk this journey and start sharing this journey with you, that you will press in with as I, as well, continue to figure out what God's calling us to do. And even though your mess may be unimaginable and I'm can't even imagine what what different struggles that you may be going through and I would love to be able to pray with you and share if you'd like to share in the comments or connect with me um in other means but just know that you're not alone and that I love you dearly and I'm excited to join this with you as God turns us and our messes into masterpieces